Hey, it's Pavel. As uh, recently we have achieved the state of the service that uh, should be working in terms of uh, uh, answering to user input with some actual data, it would be uh, a good point to uh, wrap it with some tests. For that, uh, we will use a uh, Rodor, which uh, is a Cucumber version of uh, uh, for Go. Uh, we have it installed. I have uh, prepared a very simple feature that uh, contains uh, one of one uh, uh, scenario handling the full sp full scope of what we want to be doing if in our service for now, which is uh, which is to create a uh, resource, up upload uh, a content uh, for it, then we will update it. Uh, that uh, the or list of uh, resources available in the memory that 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 single one that we have uh, created and obtained id of and we will then try to download its content and uh, finally clean up and uh, remove that resource so uh, the test uh, uh, doesn't uh, leave anything inside the memory or the uh, database or whatever provider uh, would, would we use uh, here uh, so to prepare such set, set of tests we uh, we need uh, to have a, a mapping of steps to uh, functions uh, we will get to the implementation of them in a, in a moment and we have uh, we need some response to and uh, resource id uh, that uh, we will share in between the steps. So let's get to that part. We will implement the the stages of test. So we will define some uh, some data here. We will operate on this type of files. <coughs> and let's try to to build uh, something, uh, something will uh, which uh, we will be able to put inside the service. Uh, so here we want uh, uh, what we want to put it's some arbitrary. Uh, creation date we don't need to fill it but but as it's uh, generally required element in the in the structure uh, we need to fill it uh, probably we could update it to or, or we could use a different uh, structure to to handle uh, this request uh, it's not a Necessary, necessary, really the most important point for now. So let's uh, let's keep it that way as for current, and let's add some that to our file. Okay, and and we uh, might need to use that resource. You call the uh, service which uh, takes a uh, byte array uh, produced by the JSON Marshall, and we will want to check if our resource is uh, created. So if the response uh, uh, status is not uh, 201 then we know that uh, it uh, didn't work so we will return a parsed error uh, should be 201 was uh, something and that something is resp http status then if it uh, uh, succeeded then 
then we will obtain that uh, data from uh, from the item as a beta array and uh, if uh, uh, UID is uh, proper so if uh, uh, this uh, it doesn't throw any errors so if it throws some error then we still fail the test as we uh, need to have a per proper value of id and if it did work then our uh, resource id we can assign with that uh, unit and return nil as there is no error that's basically basically how how we will handle the test cases so let's start with uh, upload content which is the next step so the response will be a call to upload content with uh, our saved uh, resource ID and uh, some arbitrary uh, string and uh, if if it goes through the test it should uh, be uh, verified if we do have a uh, H HTTP uh, status of 200 So I will just reuse what what I have here, and then if uh, if uh, uh, if uh, the the amount of uh, of uh, modified items uh, will not be one, we also want to throw some error. As we expect, one modified report, and we had uh, we had some some other value. So we uh, verify if it does match our our uh, requirement. <coughs> Uh, uh, to done uh, the update will be quite similar to what we have uh, here oh, sorry, uh, not here but here but we can copy both items uh, it's update resource so we also need to uh, need uh, that but also we need we will put a uh, ID here as we will check if we uh, update the recorded entry we don't really, really try to what will um, be but uh, put here as we only want to we only want to uh, put something to check if the response is okay also the ID is not important and it uh, doesn't need to be set just we, we can uh, modify it so why not doing it and as for the uh, response we want to just we, we want just to check if it's 200 here and if uh, the amount uh, so so maybe i will just copy this part instead of the uh, creation and this and it's basically this exactly the same as upload content uh, as for uh, as for obtaining for uh, all uh, all the resources we just also need to assign uh, a result of a call and we need to prepare a pagination object we want to get a page one 
one for a size of uh, let's say 20 entries and if it worked then then also we will check the the amount uh, sorry the HTTP code which should be 200 and we and we will check uh, if the length of uh, items uh, mapped to paginated resource is not zero because if it is then then we expect uh, uh, we do expect a, a, a non empty list non empty list of this entries okay uh, so uh, what's left is to to get the item by id and uh, that's uh, the resource content and the uh, and to remove the element so i will just copy it not, not to uh, make it too long and uh, we do have a list of uh, steps defined uh, to uh, actually make it running we need uh, one more thing which is main test row in which we will define the test to be running as for this uh, uh, bdd wrapper so we need to define a test feature function uh, i name it a test feature as for it uh, will run the bdd test as we we, uh, we will have some additional functions for uh, for uh, uh, unit tests uh, so here, uh, what what we need to get, get started with uh, BDD the tests is a definition of some testing suite, which is a uh, broad uh, test suite. And here uh, we put a, a scenario initializer, which takes a, a scenario context. And here we call a that initialize a scenario function in which we define the steps also we, we might or may not put uh, some options here uh, like uh, we can uh, we can add uh, we can add a uh, format for printing the result uh, and let, let's make it uh, pretty we can define the list of uh, of features so i will put a path to our uh, features directory and it uh, it, it wants to get uh, that if from uh, from a function and definition plus if the uh, so it run fails then we want to also return some some information that something failed. Failed to run feature feature tests. And uh, having that done, the test should start. If we run a go test uh, call. And I need to right, I need to define the storage storage uh, provider uh, so it does work. So let's do it here. And uh, we can see that all the tests are run and all all of them passed, uh, which means that we have implemented the. Uh, the service uh, exactly how we planned to do it as it fulfills uh, the test so uh, thank you for your attention uh, uh, today and welcome to check out the rest of this uh, series